They're at the post. They're off. Turn on the pumps and Uncle Dick break well. Pulpit's Express on the move at the rail. Tight spot, but he's through to challenge Uncle Dick now for the lead. Turn on the pumps, backs off. Then comes Toledo Eddie, followed by Maidon Magic and Unusual Lover. Next, it's Christopher Street, Pocket Prince, and the early trailer is Unusual Jazz. Good solid pace on. Uncle Dick sets it from Toledo Eddie to the back stretch. Uncle Dick, three quarters of a length. Toledo Eddie is second by two lengths to Pulpits Express and turn on the pumps. Together, third and fourth and two and a half from the front. Maidon Magic moves nicely at the rail, up into fifth now and about four off the lead. Just outside of him, it's Unusual Lover. Christopher Street is five off the front. Then it's another gap of five or six lengths to Pocket Prince, who is two in front of Unusual Jazz. Half mile pole they race, no change in the top three. Uncle Dick continues to lead with Toledo Eddie, now a closer second. Uncle Dick only a neck in front. Pulpits Express in perfect striking position. No excuses for him and Maldonado. They're two from the front. Made on magic and turn on the pumps. Have three lengths to make up. Then Unusual Lover, four from the lead, and Pulpits Express makes his move. Pulpits Express has just gone from third to first in about four jumps. Maldonado going for his third on the day, and he's going to be tough. Pulpits Express off the top of the turn, two in front. Uncle Dick battles on. Turn on the pumps to the outside. Pulpits Express final, 16th of a mile and three in front. Uncle Dick runs his heart out. Turn on the pumps. Made on magic between horses. Pulpits Express. This is a three-way battle for the leading rider. Three on the day from Aldonado. Pulpits Express one by three. Made on magic was second, close for third. Maybe turn on the pumps. reviewing the videotape replays the stewards have ruled there will be a disqualification in this race number one pulpits express who finished first has been disqualified and placed sixth number one pulpits express who finished first has been disqualified and placed sixth the new order of finish number four maidan magic first number three turn on the pumps second Number six, Uncle Dick third. Number five, Christopher Street fourth. For interference as the horses turned into the stretch, number one, Pulpits Express, who finished first, has been disqualified and placed sixth. Race seven is official. Now returning to the winner circle is Maidan Magic and jockey Martin Garcia. Maidan Magic was bred in California by Julio Canani and is owned by Tarma Corporation and Wielden. Julio Canani is the trainer. Running time, 1 minute 35.82 seconds. Once again, folks, please be advised that in this seventh race, number one, Pulpits Express, who finished first, was disqualified for interference turning into the stretch and placed sixth.
The exacta returned $29.50, Quinella $32.80, Trifecta $368.10, Superfecta $2,491.40, Daily Double $58.80. The pick three, one hundred seventy-eight dollars forty cents. Today's eighth race offers super high five wagering. Race eight will be run at five furlongs. Scratch all of the also eligible horses. Number eleven, wickedly sassy, down through number thirteen, pining play. Numbers. we will show you the incident at the top of this stretch. These were the views that the stewards used in conducting their inquiry and ultimately disqualifying number one Pulpits Express from first to sixth position. First we're going to show you the quarter pole shot. That's as the horses round the far turn and head into the stretch. Now the two horses that we're watching, three out from the rail in the pink silks, that's Pulpits Express. Just inside of Pulpits Express is Just inside of Pulpits Express is number seven, Toledo Eddie, and you're going to see Pulpits Express as they straighten away into the stretch will come inward, taking the path of number seven, Toledo Eddie, causing that rival to stumble, clip heels and stumble sharply, and it did cost, in the view of the stewards, number seven, Toledo Eddie, an opportunity at a better placing, therefore the reason for the disqualification. Here's the quarter pole shot. Watch the horse on the outside will come in right there, come inward and take the path of number seven Toledo Eddy, causing that horse to clip heels and stumble sharply. In the view of the stewards, that incident cost number seven Toledo Eddy an opportunity at a better placing. And so, number one, Pulpits Express was disqualified from first and placed sixth. Now this is the tight pan. Pulpits Express is in the pink. Toledo Eddy is in the yellow cap. Those are the two horses that we're watching. When we let this roll, you're going to see Pulpits Express, as they straighten away, come inward into the path of number seven, Toledo Eddy, causing that rival to clip heels and stumble sharply. In the view of the stewards, this cost number seven, Toledo Eddy, an opportunity at a better placing, and that's the reason for the disqualification. Here's your tight pan. Now watch Pulpits Express, when they straighten away, is going to come inward right there causing number seven Toledo Eddy to clip heels and stumble sharply, and in the view of the stewards, costing him an opportunity at a better placing. After reviewing these two videotape replays, the stewards disqualified number one, Pulpits Express, from first and placed him sixth. 